Hey guys, meet Nala. She is my new garage dog. She is part Australian Shepherd and part P Poodle. Just kidding, there's nothing wrong with Poodles. She is what they call an Aussie Doodle, so a part Australian Shepherd, part uh, Poodle. And she was actually my wife's Valentine's Day gift this year. He's good. <laughs> But it turns out she loves spending time with me in the garage, which is awesome. So I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you guys because, I mean, who doesn't love puppies? Yeah, you're so precious. You're so precious. Now, let's talk about this week's progress. All right, guys. So here's the deal with this week's episode. Well, actually, first, I hope you guys are all doing very well in these challenging times and I know it's kind of tough for everybody but anyway I hope you're doing well. So here is the gist of this episode. Everything that I did this week was kind of boring. It was a lot of wire brushing, degreasing, scraping gaskets off of surfaces, drilling out old bushings from the leaf springs, a lot of very boring stuff that is difficult to make an episode from. Also this week I kind of just needed a break from the camera and filming. I just wanted to be productive and kind of have more of that sort of mindfulness, meditative state when you're doing just physical work, not worrying about other things. It was incredibly helpful. I'm feeling better. I also worked more on my welding. Check that out. So this is a piece of 18 gauge steel that I cut the, this corner off of and I had a gap I actually have pictures of the process. Maybe I'll put those here and show you what I did. Wait for it. So that's what I did here. And I'm feeling good about that. I am getting much closer to being able to weld patch panels on the car. So progress is happening here in the garage. The garage is a mess, but this is the real deal family man garage. I got the family guinea pig out here hanging out with me. I got the dog that comes in and hangs out with me. And uh, yeah, the garbage gets thrown out here for me to throw out outside in the bins. So it's just always kind of a mess in here, but again, it's the real deal. Okay, so where I'm at with the rear end differential. It has all been degreased, sanded down. I just replaced the gasket back here Side note, I did not put any kind of gasket sealer or sealant on the actual gasket itself. Um, I just put the gasket on dry. I don't know if that's a mistake or not. I'm not gonna change it, but uh, just let me know if that was a mistake or if that gasket should be just fine on there by itself with those bolts torqued to spec. I'm gonna be painting this with just high temp Rust-Oleum semi-gloss paint. I don't need this to turn out perfect. I just want it to look better than what it is. I want to spice it up a bit, make it look good. That's all I'm going for. It doesn't have to be show quality, anything like that. That will make me happy. However, I cannot paint it right now. I need to wait for it to get warmer. Um, they're saying this Saturday it's gonna be like in the 60s, no wind. So I'm gonna paint all of my stuff that day. So I didn't get it done for this episode. You guys also know that I am redoing these leaf springs. Um, all the old bushings are out. These were all drilled out. I have the new bushings here to go in and I have the new shackles here. Again, these are just going to get painted with Rust-Oleum paint. Side note on this leaf spring, this strap is broken. I picked up one of those clamp straps you get at AutoZone, Advanced Auto. That'll hold for now. I don't even know if they're legal in PA. I can't imagine they wouldn't be, but uh, if they are, that is what I'm gonna put on there and I'm gonna leave it on there. It's kind of like, I mean, it's not a big deal to me. It's kind of like, I kind of like like the little band-aids and stuff on the car, the things that like make it mine and kind of tell the story of the whole resto modding process of this thing. So anyway, the leaf springs are gonna be getting repainted and rebuilt. I'm going to repaint the drive shaft as well. And I do have for underneath the car, I am going to, I will be putting POR 15 on the underside of the car. But before I do that, 
I need to remove all of the grease, dirt, and loose rust. But that will be going on underneath the back section of the car up until about where the um, floor pans drop down there. Then once that is done, I will get the new shocks on, put the whole back end back together, and call it a day for the underside of the car back here. In regards to my frame rail, I'm gonna leave that alone for right now. Um, technically, in PA, it is not legal to weld on your frame. So that's where I'm leaving that. And that'll probably be the end of me discussing anything there with that area. Okay? All right, moving on. So, my confidence is almost there. I will be maybe welding in the floor pan. Maybe that'll be the next project I do. Bear with me, I know I bounce back and forth between the different projects right now, but it's kind of, I talked about the balancing act with all this. It's kind of tough to settle into one particular job for a while. Pretty much anytime you get into a new task, something pops up that's an obstacle and kind of throws you off course. Definitely the mechanical stuff on this car was a lot more streamlined than the bodywork. The bodywork has been disruptive and challenging, I would say. But that's pretty much everything I have for this episode. Um, I said before, I do read the comments. I've just been really, really busy and I'm catching up to them. So uh, I will get back to you. And as always, I appreciate all the input that you guys give me. I'm still having a ton of fun. I just needed a little bit of a break this week. And uh, yeah, I think that's everything. So hopefully for the weekly startup, I will have a painted rear end to show you and maybe a few other things painted. But that is it for this episode. It is just an update episode. Sorry guys, nothing real exciting, but that's where I'm at with everything. So until the next episode, guys, take care.